Prism Electronic Music Experience. Guys, we are at Family Picnic in Montpellier and uh, behind the Elro stage. And I'm now with Ali, aka Dub Fire. Thank you for being with us. How do you feel? How are you? Good. It was like uh, my first time playing Family Picnic. I'm not quite sure how many years it's been going on, but uh, I heard a lot of really great things about it. And I'm um, really happy to be playing with a lot of friends of mine Solomon, yeah. Jamie Jones, Steve Rahmad, um, you know, uh, uh, Davide Squilace, who's almost here. Uh, it's been uh, really, really fun. I actually DJed uh, barefoot, I saw and that. I came uh, wearing I really saw comfortable, that. comfortable clothes. And uh, yeah, it feels like a really comfortable day. So it I was happy. It's, it's, it's a good name, family. Yeah, picnic, picnic I feel day. like I'm on a picnic. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah that, so they did well. Yeah. <laughs> um, your set was great, and at the end, it was that Elro explosion. Yeah. Uh, that was amazing. It's, it's yeah. When you play Elro and things, is it really special? Is it different? Yeah, I mean, for me, the first time I played, I live in Barcelona, so I'm very familiar with the Elro yeah. brand, brand. And uh, the first time I played for them, you know, because I'm used to really dark rooms and, yeah. um, you know, flashes of light and smoking, uh, smoky sort of atmosphere or whatever. And the first time I played El Ro, like all the lights were on. They had these guys in crazy costumes come out. And, um, you know, they weren't willing to modify, you know, the atmosphere or the lighting or anything like that for me. And it took me like one or two gigs to understand the concept of El Ro. And now that I understand it, and every DJ who plays for yeah. them for the first time, goes through that. Now that I understand it, I actually really love it. It's um, kind of like a circus yeah. vibe and um, it's really fun because, you know, a lot of people are already sort of um, maybe exhausted from having partied for many, many hours and, and tweaked out or, or whatever. And, um, you know, to be able to put on costumes and see a sort of like a, a circus act mm -hmm. in front of you, uh, people acting crazier than than you and your friends <laughs> that's are. That's a good point. Yeah, it, it always makes for, um, uh, you know, everybody it puts a smile on everyone's yeah, face, basically. Definitely. Def and, and then you took off your shoes. <laughs> and I took off my shoes. Yeah, I felt helps. that comfortable <laughs> to take off my shoes, yeah. And uh, you told me you just arrived from Italy where you were playing. Yeah. Uh, it's been crazy for you, I mean, for a long time, but you're touring all the time. How is it going? Like, it's good. I'm like in the summer. juggling three projects. I'm doing my solo gigs. I'm uh, doing the, the hybrid show, the live yeah. show. Um, the last one was at Sonar, and this week we're doing um, Georgia, mm -hmm. a really cool festival called Gem Festival in Georgia. And um, yeah, we're going to be doing uh, quite a few more before the end of the year. And I also have the, the Deep Dish project yeah. and, and, you know, I'm doing uh, all kinds of studio uh, projects in between yeah, yeah. with, you with have all so, three. So many yeah. things. But yeah. Hybrid is amazing. I actually Thanks. saw the one in Sonar. Oh, you did? Cool. It was so special because it was uh, early morning. And yeah. uh, you said it, it was a dark room and big, big room. And yeah, I was really nervous it was because it was, uh, it, was, it was the main, uh, main hall uh, and after yeah. like Duran Duran and Chemical Brothers and I was watching the Chemical Brothers show and yeah. they sound check right after yeah. us and I was just like, wow, uh, how am I going to top this? But, you know, we all bring um, our own unique sort of Definitely. vision and our own unique sort of uh, flavor to, to what we do. And um, I think the crowds were there appreciating all of us individually and collectively. Deep Dish, so how's yep. that going for you now? It's good. We're like about six songs into an album's worth of material. We know that um, uh, it has to be music driven, yep. you know, Deep Dish 2.0, because a lot of people are wondering what Deep Dish is supposed to sound like, both, yep. you know, uh, in terms of the music that we're, we're making in tw 2015 and also like with our DJ sets. And we've done a lot of DJ sets, but we only released like one single. Yeah. Um, and that was sort of. Um, you know, that brought our sound uh, up to date, but, um, you know, what we're doing with um, really some amazing vocalists, um, 
you know, when, when, when that stuff comes out, I think it's really going to, you know, define who Deep Dish is in that's 2015. Real, that's really exciting. Yeah. And personally, you also have a release that is on vinyl only, and it's a remix, mm -hmm. right, for a hot sense? Yes, right now it's on vinyl. It's yeah. coming out digitally, I think, in about three weeks okay. or something. Uh, it's on special red colored vinyl. And that was um, sort of a, a labor of love. Um, I, yeah. you know, it was inspired by my first trip to Burning Man, and I, I was hearing every DJ Burning Man about three years ago play the original version. Okay. And I didn't know who it was. And when I came back, I, you know, called my friend Lee Burridge, and I said, "Listen, you played this song. Everybody played this song. What is it?" And I was like, like the old days when I would walk into a record store and, and you know, hum the melody or sing the lyrics to like the the guy behind the counter, and he would tell me, oh, "Okay, it's that record." Okay. So I was doing the same thing with Lee Burridge, and uh, he told me that it was Hot Sense 82, and I'm friends with Daily, and I said, "Man, give me the parts. I really feel like I can do something very special with this." And for me, I I want it to, you know, sort of like, you know, uh, be typical of my Burning Man experience. I want to do a mix um, that really defines my Burning Man experience, and that's what I did. And I hope uh, everyone is into it. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna yeah. be great. And um, uh, speaking live, um, you you played Sonar, and it was huge. And, yeah. Uh, uh, the DJs was amazing, but you also played Tomorrowland, which yeah. is a really really different atmosphere so yeah. do you think that now like festivals like sonar that are supposed to be a little bit more underground can mm -hmm. be like competition with tomorrowland that mm -hmm. used to be the biggest one in the world i don't think so i think it's um two completely different it's like two completely different restaurants i always use like food as a metaphor for for music um tomorrowland's appeals mainly to the more commercial fantasy land make-believe world kind of uh yeah. crowds um, you know, and, and Sonar is a very serious, you know, music sort of conference. And, um, you know, it's very anti-commercialism, yeah. you know. So um, I'm really happy that both coexist in perfect harmony. And, um, and both book you get, you get, you know, you get quite a few people going to Tomorrowland. And you, and you get, you know, uh, a lot of people going to uh, places like Sonar and Mutech and, and Montreal and, and a lot of other cool festivals. Um, I think you'll always have the yin and yang. You'll always have, you know, the alternative yeah. to the mainstream. And um, while I had an amazing time at Tomorrowland, Sonar for me was the highlight of my year so far, I think. Yeah, your heart yeah. is there. But yeah, but alternative is now going a little, it's gaining, gaining and yeah. gaining now. That, that sort of music is for more everyone now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the great thing these days is that there's something for everybody. You know, um, I just hope uh, that, you know, festivals like Tomorrowland allocate a bigger budget to the more alternative underground stages. So they... Yeah. May, you know, make it a bit more balanced than it is. You know, right now, you know, I love playing festivals like Insom you know, ins the festivals that Insomniac do, like Escape from Wonderland, similar sort yeah. of concept, you know, um, Beyond Wonderland, uh, EDC or whatever. Yeah. They really allocate a lot of uh, production resources to like the main stages and a lot of the other commercial stages. And I just um, would love to see them, you know, so, you know, send us a little love yeah. <laughs> you know but they do definitely Ultra yeah does it too, they, so they're they're really trying you know it's and really exciting. at the end of the day it's it's what the crowds are gravitating towards but you know it's all about how you frame it you know if yeah. you frame our music techno music in in the best way with with top quality production and sound and lighting or whatever it's going to make more of an impact to the audience and we're going to have more of an audience coming to our tents and stages or whatever definitely yeah. And uh, thanks to uh, underground and alternative music, we still have events like that one that are a little bit more intimate than our. Really yeah, nice. this is so great. Yeah, it's like great to see you play here. And, yeah, uh, you know, well, play I've played many times in Montpellier, yeah. but I've never played Family Picnic, and um, you know, didn't know what to expect when I came in. But I knew that you know the you know that I was playing the El Rose stage, and I knew uh, kind of what to expect with yeah. with that stage, and I wasn't disappointed. It was. Uh, Really, really fun. I think it was a lot of fun for uh, the crowds. It was. I was. Yeah. I was in there, and the sunset. Everything was perfect. Yeah. So, so it was great. <laughs> Guys, if you want to see everything about Dot Fire, of course you can go to everything. Facebook. You have the whole uh, yeah. package. Dot Fire. Dot Fire. Dot Fire. Yeah. A sla <laughs> slash every time. Dot Fire. Yeah. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for being with us. Thank and you. See you next on Prism Radio. I hope. Thank you. Bye. Peace. Thanks.